Good morning from wet haired Jesse. <laughs> um, I think we both got a decent amount of sleep last night, which was nice. Um, I know, I think Felicity was up at like 6.30 and it was Tyler's turn to have morning shift, if you will. <laughs> the shifts are very money right now. <laughs> anyway, but I just got something in the mail I wanna show you guys. So my diaper bag is from this brand and we have the larger, it looks like this, but it's larger. We really don't need that much space anymore considering like now we've really pared down what we carry around with us when both girls are with us. And so I wanted the smaller one. So they sent this to me, which was so nice. Thank you. Um, I would have bought this on my own. In fact, I was actually planning to um, either ask for it for Christmas or buy it for myself. Cause I, like I said, I wanted the smaller size, but they sent it to me. They also though have some new launches. This is like their tote, I want to say. Um, I think the idea is that you can use it for a baby. Like it's got like a changing thing in there, but I was thinking about using it for work because <laughs> I feel like it looks really pretty. It's got all these extra pockets, but that's pretty cool. And then another thing I do think we'll actually use is this snack bag. So it opens all the way, which I appreciate. And I feel like all of the time, whether it's like a short little road trip or just, I don't know, being in the car, especially like driving around for the holidays, we'll have snacks with us for typically Genevieve, sometimes us. And it'd be nice to not, I'm literally, I'll walk out of the house, like carrying everything in my hands, you know? So it'd be nice to kind of have an actual bag to put it in. So I have a feeling we'll get some use out of this, but I do have a 25% off like referral link if you want to check it out. Um, I'll link below because they have all kinds of stuff, but I just really like this brand. By the way, the brand is Luli Baby. I don't know if I said that. So thank you, Luli Baby, for sending these to me, but I'm, I'm really excited. I, I'm excited to get this all packed up and use it. You know, it's a good size. Tyler says he's going to get these floating shelves up today. There they are. We've got a couple more of our things. I don't know if we've talked about yet. Things that we've been dying to try that our friends were telling us they love. So anyway, I think he's gonna talk to you guys a bit about coffee today. So you'll hear more about this, but I am so excited to get the shelves up. I feel like it'll start to look a little bit more complete over here. There is one thing I got uh, in the mail, I mean, that I bought on Amazon, this little holder. Cause we had like a drawer that was like a separate thing that was typically under our pot. But I, you know, we have these drawers here. We wanted to use them. So this works out pretty well. Um, I might put something under it so that this doesn't slide around. But that's a good amount. I like that it's the wood color so it kind of matches. These are all like the extra pieces. <laughs> that's a long story. I don't know if we've told that story or not, but it's a long story. This darn piece of furniture. But yeah, it's slowly coming together. I'm so excited. Well, good morning, friends. And let me say for the first time, officially in Vlogmas 2022, Welcome to the cutting board. Y'all ready for this? Okay, as promised, I'm going to teach you how to make cold brew coffee. It is genuinely the easiest thing in the world. Anybody can do it. It's super duper duper simple. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and overcomplicate it and over explain everything uh, just because that's what I do. All right, I'm going to start out by saying to make cold brew, all you have to do is combine coffee and water. That's it. Let it steep for 14 to 24 hours. Bada bing, bada boom, you got cold brew. That's the easy thing. So now let's make it awfully complicated. All right, there's a couple different methods here. So the first thing you need to know is the grind of the coffee. So you can see here, I grabbed some espresso. You can see the difference. This is real fine and powdery. You're looking for a coarse ground coffee, especially if you're going to do this in the French press. So Obviously any, really any, even like, like Folgers comes relatively coarse to the ground, whatever. As long as it's not an espresso ground or a super duper fine powder, you're gonna be just fine. So I uh, grind, ground, I grinded, I, I grunded this right before uh, I started here. So this is freshly ground coffee, smells awesome. Now, like I said, I'm gonna teach you two different methods here. The first one is a little bit faster, which is the reason I would do that one versus the other one. I think the other one makes a little bit better cold brew, but it takes 24 hours, up to 24 hours. This can be done a little bit faster. So I'm gonna show you this method. I'll show you the second method as well. Let me tell you a little bit about the French press though. So this French press is the one, so I had two. This is not my favorite French press for making cold brew coffee because it's metal and it sits there for a very, very long time. If I were to buy one specifically for cold brew, I would get one that is glass. And I, I used to have two. I had one glass one and I had this one, but I decided I didn't want two French presses. So I got rid of the other one, which is better for cold brew because the acidity sitting there for a long, long time is better in glass. This I still use and it's fine. It doesn't really taste metallic-y or anything, but I just don't like that the, the acidic 
is sitting in metal for so long. So if you were to buy one, or if you have a glass one, that's what I would use here. But I just picked this one over the other one because when I make it, I felt like when I was doing the French press in a glass, it would get cold before I could even get like my second cup. So I use this one now and it works fine. And as far as actually making it just a normal French press, this is great because it keeps it cold, or, sorry, it keeps it hot for several hours. So I do like this as a French press. So coffee, this is gonna be something you're gonna have to test out your own ratio. And you probably already know your coffee ratio because it's the same ratio, or I use the same ratio, I guess I should say, that I use in a coffee maker. So this is a two tablespoon scoop. I use two tablespoons per cup. This is a four cup French press. Some people use one tablespoon per cup. Also, he's working down in the basement if you hear that. <laughs> Some people use one tablespoon per cup. Some people use uh, even less. Some people use, uh, like my parents use one tablespoon per, but they also use half regular, half decaf. So you're gonna have to figure out your own ratio. Me personally, I use two tablespoons per cup of water. Now the way I do it, this is already measured here. So this is gonna go in the French press. Now I have some freshly boiled water here at, well, it's at about 205 degrees, which is the right temperature for coffee, just under boiling, which would be 212 Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna pour this in just enough to cover the beans. Now I am fully aware that cold brew purists are gonna hate me for this method, but stick with me. Now, the reason I do this method is because like I said, this method has my cold brew done in about six hours. And the reason why is because I have just have a knife here. I'm just stirring it to make sure it gets all mixed in there. So coffee can be extracted by cold water, which is cold brew. That's the reason cold brew works. It just takes a very, very long time for cold water to extract all of the, 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 the taste and the flavor and the, the caffeine from the coffee. So by putting just a little bit of hot water in and letting it sit for about two minutes, one to two minutes, it's gonna start that extraction process a lot faster. Then what I'm gonna do once that's done, I've got some ice water here, very cold water. This is gonna go on top and it's gonna sit in the fridge for six to 10 hours. At that point, I can then push down the plunger, pour out the coffee and it's ready to go. And because I did that sort of uh, blasting with dynamite, pulling out that extraction early on, it gets ready a lot faster. The, the cold brew is ready a lot faster. The second method of making cold brew, which I think makes a little bit better cold brew, is to skip this step and to go ahead and combine your freshly ground coffee with cold water and let it set for 14 to 24 hours. About 20 hours is just about, I feel like the right amount of time, but anywhere in there, it's gonna be good. You don't want it to overbrew because then it can start to get bitter again, but if you hit that right in the middle, around 20 hours, it is so smooth. Uh, it's got more caffeine in it and it's just, it's such a delightful experience as opposed to just having iced coffee, which is very good and I love me some, some iced coffee, but this is gonna make it so much smoother on the, the cold brew versus doing it, just having iced coffee. So I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna say that's about a minute or two. And now I'm gonna take my very cold water and fill it up to the top. And I'm gonna cover this, put it in the fridge. I got a little too full, that's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna let it steep in the fridge for six hours, six to 10, and we'll try it this evening and see how it turned out. Now, one more thing to note, I like making this in the French press because what happens is that at the end when it's all done, I can just push this down and pour it right out. Even if there's a little bit of uh, coffee grounds in there, that doesn't bother me. You could pour it through a coffee filter at the end if you don't like uh, any coffee grounds or anything in it. If that bothers you, I would go ahead and pour it through a filter anyway, but for me, it's good enough to just put it through the, the fine mesh filter that's in a French press but you don't even need a French press to make cold brew. You can literally make it in just a regular glass jar, maybe not, maybe one a little bit bigger than this, but all you have to do is combine the coffee and the water, stir, cover, and let set for, again, same amount of time, open it up, and you can just pour it directly through a coffee filter, and boom, you got your cold brew there. So you don't even need this. I just like it that it has basically a filter built into it, but you don't have to do that. You can just let the coffee and the water set in a glass jar for 20 hours and magic happens. And that's all there is to it. Coffee and water. Guys, Tyler is currently filming the cutting board segment about cold brew and I can hear him. And I was down there getting more coffee because I'm just about to go do my makeup and stuff. And he was down there and I was like, like I said, getting coffee. And he was just kind of standing there at the cutting board. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm about to film. I'm like, oh, okay, you can film. I'll be quiet, you know. 
And he's like, no. I'm like, what, are you embarrassed? He's like, yeah, just get out of here. So I'm like, okay. So I get out of the, I get out of here. I'm up here and I can hear him doing the, dun, 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 dun. I'm like, no wonder you're going to be embarrassed. It's just making me laugh. I love him so much. I ordered lunch for myself because Tyler's not here. <laughs> and I'm getting even crazier because I'm going to eat it in bed. <laughs> I just finished filming the video and I was like, I feel like watching The Office. And whoops, um, eating in bed. I never get to do this other than our cereal dates, of course, but very excited. And Oak says, yeah, what are you... What do you got to, Mom? Nothing for you, Mistle. Nothing for you. Hi, right, everybody. I uh, I just went out and got some errands done. Uh, and then I had to use the restroom, so I stopped at McDonald's. And I went inside to use the restroom. And then I smelled it, and I was like, well, I mean, while I'm here. So anyway, I ate some McDonald's, and I feel like garbage now. But it was totally worth it, because it was delicious. Because McDonald's is delicious trash food. Um... I have to stop at CVS to grab a few things, and then I'm gonna head home, and I'm gonna edit yesterday's Vlogmas, and then I'm gonna try and go on a run, and then I'm gonna go pick up Genevieve. Wait, no, I'm gonna pick up Felicity. Jessica's picking up Genevieve today. Yes. That's what I'm doing. Here's what's going on in your neck of the woods. All right, back in the car again. <laughs> I have to go pick up Felicity now. I was hoping to go on a run before I left, but with work, it just didn't work out. It's just I had too much to do today, but then, that means when I get home, I'm gonna have to do a run on the treadmill downstairs, which is fine. But I was hoping to do a run outside. Maybe I'll do a run outside another day. But anyway, I feel like I've been in the car a lot today. <laughs> you have those days where you're just like, I've been in the car all day. <laughs> okay, we are back from picking, well, I am back from picking up Genevieve and I am gonna try to work out. <laughs> um, she is eating a snack right there. And I am just gonna try to do like a dance workout in here. I'm not even going to really change into workout clothes. I mean, I'm kind of in comfy-ish. Like, I've got, like, joggers on. I'm like, this will do. But it's kind of like one of those things that I either fit it in right now or I don't do it at all. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. All right, that one was fun. Um, <laughs> it's the one MK Fit just uploaded. And that was a really good one, I have to say. It was really fun. Hi, Pinocchio. He said, um, it's getting close to dental time. I don't know if you noticed this. Um, I'm very hungry. My sweet boy. Yes, yes. Okay, it is dinner time. I've got my cozy sweater on. And we are doing a healthy, but very easy dinner, which is the key. And honestly, this type of dinner, I feel like we make once a week just because it's easy, it's predictable, and it's like somewhat healthy. So here we go. It's also delicious. Like, don't get me wrong. So we've got just like finger lean potatoes. This was like a bag I got and it was a mixed whatever. Um, clearly they favored this kind of potato. Uh, so what I'll typically do with this size is cut them in half and maybe cut them in fourths, depending. Cover them in olive oil, salt and pepper and bake them. And then we're gonna take this cauliflower and basically do the same thing and bake it. But towards the end, we're gonna cover it in buffalo sauce. And that, if you have never had buffalo cauliflower, it's as simple as that and it is so, so good. And then the other thing we're gonna make is just chicken baked. Again, decently healthy, very predictable, very delicious. And that, I mean, that's gonna be that. Basically, once I get it all in the oven, that's it. It's all gonna cook in there. So I just have like 20 minutes to scroll my phone or whatever, or deal with the kids. But right now, I just laid Felicity down and uh, gave Gigi a bath. Tyler is now laying Gigi down, so hopefully they'll stay down. <laughs> Best laid plans, you know. Shall we test some cold brew? It's like 7.30 at night, you're gonna drink cold brew. Yeah, I am. I mean, not a lot, some though. So like I said, if you wanted to, at this point, you could put it through a paper filter, but for me, the little bit of remnants of coffee in there, that really doesn't bother me. So I am good with just the sieve that's on here. All right, so this has been here and in there for about seven hours, which is about the absolute minimum, I would say. Um, you could do it for another at least eight to 10 hours and it's just gonna get stronger and smoother, but we're gonna try it right now. So smooth. But for real though, it's absolutely delicious. You can see, I mean, you can even see it's not super duper strong. Like I said, this is just about the minimum I would do it, but it's still really, really smooth and really, really tasty. So if you let it set for longer, it's just gonna get better and better but I think this is good for now. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into uh, some jars and I'm gonna have it for tomorrow. 
Oh, and remember that if you don't do the boiling step, the, the very first one there, if you just start with cold water to begin with, you have to do it for like 14 to 24 hours. So you can't do this little bit faster trick. So if you wanna do it with just cold water, it's gonna need almost a full 24 hours. 20 hours I have found is just about the sweet spot for me. But you gotta experiment, give it some tries. Let me know how it turns out. Check that to miss da 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 ooh we over baked it oh oh well <laughs> yeah we definitely over baked it but that's okay um the good news is uh that we pretty much just leave well today I just did olive oil salt and pepper really boring bland but we're gonna be using some buffalo sauce on the cauliflower we usually have a little buffalo on this so we we really don't need any competing flavors on the actual chicken it's just a vessel for the buffalo sauce. <laughs> Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, heaven. I wish you guys could taste this. Okay, dinner is served. I love blue cheese. Tyler, I think, prefers ranch with the buffalo. So, like I said, moderately healthy, but also delicious. Nor am I supposed to go. Okay. Pinocchio is to stall of this show. <laughs> End of the night. Oh, Pinocchio. Look at this. <laughs> you got it there. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that some mornings. When I Especially when I was pregnant, I'd be like. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> gotta get some you gotta rear back going. as far I, as you yeah. I actually don't know where to sit. I'll just stand over here. So, all right. <laughs> no, no. Uh, good. <laughs> back the camera up. I know. <laughs> Boy, for me, I'd marry you all over again just for you going. Okay. Uh, it's going to uh, be another one of those mm, nights. I learned like a couple things night. today. One, <laughs> uh, apparently, I don't know nothing about kiwi. <laughs> so, okay, I was talking uh, about the kiwi. Alternate title for yesterday's video. No, 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 because that's going to be tomorrow's. Because I'm talking about kiwi in this one, so it's going to be... You're going to use that for this video, the title? Oh, wait, no, I already know what I'm doing for this one. It can't be this one. It's good. Oh, I know. Stop, though. Because I can use it later. I'll tell you what. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing... Tomorrow, I've already got it picked out. The moment I thought about it this morning, I was like... it's going. Well, they've already seen it. Well, then tell me. <laughs> it's going to be... Baby, it's cold brew outside. Wow. So good. Not as good as... Can I say my idea? No, because that one won't be out yet. Oh, you are going to I figure we'll go get some kiwi. If you, I got to finish the story, and then I'll, I figure we go get some kiwi, and we try this. this. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you I haven't know. given me any. Because I was trying to finish, and you <laughs> were talking about the title. Hold on. What? So wait, this okay. vlog is going to be called what I want to call it? No. This is the so cold tomorrow? brew one. No, I'm tomorrow. saying. <laughs> You're going to talk about kiwi I'm tomorrow. saying we should go get some kiwi and try them. What happened to our whole kiwi? <laughs> we ate them all. I got like two bites. I don't know what to tell you. It's poor kiwi. You grew up with a family. You should know. You got you to gotta fight for it if you want to. So I saying? can't say the title? I'm singing it in my head. No, because we'll go get some kiwi and we'll try these methods and then that one can be called that. So you learn new methods. Oh, yeah. Okay, we were talking about it. So. Oh, all right. Okay. Sometime in the future, you're title. The month of kiwi. Weird. December. Kiwi's the month so of good. kiwi. So I apparently. <laughs> back to live action. I've been eating kiwi all wrong. Apparently, there's two ways that, like, everybody commented. They were like, oh, you know, that's fine the way that you did it. But there's overwhelmingly two other ways that people said that you should eat it. One was to just cut it in half and then spoon it out. Like that a was, grapefruit. Yeah, that was a, some, a lot of people mentioned that. The other way... It is soft enough to do that, so that makes sense. Yeah. The other way that people mentioned was that... And it was, at first I was like, oh, yeah, but then, like... A bunch of people commented this, so it actually intrigued me and actually went to try it. You're supposed to just eat it with the skin on. I guess a bunch of people eat kiwi with the skin you on. Just bite right into it. Yeah. So I feel like I'll probably like yeah. wash it with like a uh, brush, and that would probably make some of the fuzz go away, right? 
Well, think about a peach. A peach is fuzzy, and you don't brush the fuzz off that But that's peach. a different fuzz. That's a different... <laughs> that's different. <laughs> so anyway, I think we should get some kiwi. It'd be funny if it was, like, the greatest practical joke that, like, all of them were playing on us, that they got enough people <laughs> Just to one person it. who has a bunch of accounts. And no, they no. Just... They just... They have a separate thing, and they, like, convinced a bunch of people, like, hey, <laughs> the bronze um, will do it if enough of us say it. <laughs> right? And that was... So, yeah, that's... We should definitely try that. Yeah. I'm just intrigued about it now. I'm down. I'm down to try okay, it. Okay, so then when we do that, then we can name that vlog your your title. Perfect. Perfect. You guys are going to love it. Or you'll hate it. Or you won't get it. And that's fine too. I've been on fire naming some of these videos. Mm -hmm. You named... Now I'm curious. Playbills so Ring. You did... Are yeah, Playbills Ring. Okay, so I did the first one, which wasn't great, but the helicopter. Grandma got run over by a sports car. That was me. Have a Holly Jolly junk drawer. That was me. Good King Arthur flower went out. That was me. Yuletide carols. That, and then Playbills Ring. That was you. And I did have a Holly Jolly junk drawer. You did Holly Jolly junk drawer? Yes. Oh, I thought I did. I sent you options. Okay, so you did, okay. So I did too. I've given you options for other ones, but you always Yeah, I didn't really like today's, rocking around the library. You didn't give me a chance. You what happened better? to it? I bet, I bet I do. What happened in yesterday? Basement, library, mm, something else. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure of it. No, I'm just thinking. Salt, fat, acid, heat. That made me, don't get me <laughs> laughing. Um, Focaccia. Fuck mm. mm. a cha cha cha. The fact that you ended it in cha 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 cha. I didn't go on a run today. It was like six thirty by the time I got home, and then we ate dinner. Days. And now you're like, I don't want to. And I'm not going to run it's like after dinner. 45. Yeah, no. It's just one of those days. Well, basically, I didn't work out yesterday with my laying around <laughs> yoga, which was great, by the way. I'm not knocking it. Yeah. It was fine, but, you know. Yeah, we'll um, see. Maybe I'll try and go on a run tomorrow instead. Don't be so down on yourself. Well, no, I'm saying instead of the strength training workout, maybe I'll go on a run instead. Oh, I see. Yeah. We'll see. And actually, I think the high here was like 50 today. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I saw a lot of people out, and I was like, oh, it's not that cold. Yeah, I just wore long sleeve shirt. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, the other thing that I, I realized that was interesting. Oh, no. I never, ever look at, like, YouTube, what do you call them, analytics. Mm -hmm. But I looked at them today, and I saw that 20% of people that watch our Vlogmas videos aren't subscribed. Hey. So, <laughs> if you're not subscribed, go to it. <laughs> I, that's curious to me because especially if they're wa they're coming back to watch multiples because it'd be one thing if it was just people that watched day one and then they were like okay I don't want to watch anymore but if they're watching multiple I'm yeah, surprised it was, 20, it was, it was like subscribe. like 18 to 25 percent every single day so far so I thought that was interesting that is very hey if so you're if part you're not, of that 18 to 20 percent subscribe and we have videos all year round and especially starting next year in theory we're gonna be doing a lot more videos next year hopefully we'll see I guess we'll see Time will tell. Mm hmm I can't think of another. <laughs> Captain Crunch is what I almost said. I don't know. Kit Kat bar. Break me off a piece of that. Apple sauce. Chrysler car. Football cream. Uh, anyway, all right. Nope, nobody tell them. <laughs> all right, anything else? I feel like there was something like I actually did want to talk about, and now I can't remember it. So I guess that's that. Cool. Mm-hmm. All right, well, well <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Bye, guys. This coffee better be good because I really need it right now. <laughs> All so right, so this is future us popping in. This is actually, we're filming this the next mm -hmm. day, but I wanted to do the 20-hour cold brew, and I wanted to do a taste test so that you could see the difference, but I obviously couldn't film that all in one day. So, Jessica, double blind study here. You can't see the titles, right? No, no, because okay. I'm double All right, so... Do you care which one I try Similarly, first? they look similar, so now we're going to see which one... I think this one's a little more transparent. Interesting. Interesting. Try this one first. All right. What is the doggy's pages? And you don't normally like black coffee either, so. I, I like it, but I have to be in exactly the right yeah. mood. Okay. Smooth? Mm hmm. Let me taste another sip. <laughs> I'm going to taste a sip too here. Okay. I've had a lot of cold brew in my life. All right, now okay. this one. Yeah, you can see. They look pretty similar to me. Yeah. Well. <laughs> That's this one here that she's drinking. 
I think I prefer that one. Really? This one tastes more acidic almost. Interesting. And it like left a taste in my mouth. Yeah. That one was a little smoother. Let me try this one. It's hard though, because I just drank one. I need a I need a cleanser of my palate. I need coffee. That one, <laughs> I don't know. I think I like that one a little better. So see, this this proves my point. You gotta try, you gotta experiment and All see right, which I wanna ones see you which like one's better. which. So I wanna I wanted to guess 20 hour. So that oh. was the six hour, the one that I started hot. Okay. And then this is the 20 hour that I did just with cold water. You like that one better? I like that one better. So there we go. Now you gotta go test it. Gigi, you wanna try some? <laughs> She's like, what? No, Gigi.